Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. It's time for the graduation match. Once again, Zane Truesdale proved to be the highest scoring duelist at Duel Academy. Having the top rank, he had the right to choose his opponent for his graduation duel. Congrats, Zane. You've done it again. You've gotten the highest scores in the school, and you know what that means. You win the honor of dueling, or being the headliner in Duel Academy's prestigious graduation match. Why, thanks. And tradition dictates that you get to pick whoever you want as your opponent. So who will it be, Zane? Who will I duel? The only one worthy. It's time to give Jaden his rematch. It was soon time for the graduation match. Jaden looks serious. That's gonna be... That's gotta be a first. I wonder if he's nervous. He oughta be. Alright, Zane. I guess may the best duelist win. Enough small talk. Let's do this. Alright. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta get something out there. I can't go first. I can't go first. I can't have him... I gotta win this. Yes, I did win! I couldn't have him going second and being able to special summon a Cyber Dragon while also getting to summon something else. I just could not let that happen. So if he goes second, you're really screwed, because if he's got a Cyber Dragon in his hand, you get really effed up. Alright, time for Graceful Charity. Wow, what on earth? Dude. Where's Sparkman? Uh, target the target that should negate that and if do gain light, okay. Twelve hundred attack. Yeah, I took the lead! <laughs> I'm so screwed. He's gonna drop a Cyber Dragon here. Um, he's gonna special summon a Cyber Dragon. Yeah, how? Did I know? Oh, hey, we got Goody. Okay. I'm so screwed. I'm literally so screwed. No, 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 stop. Stop! Okay, actually, I will use it now. I need some life points. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to sit here and take damage here. I'm gonna have to take damage for a minute here. For a hot minute. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me right now. I'm so screwed. I need a Burstinatrix, or not Burstinatrix, I need an, I need a, oh, okay, well, it's Cyber and Dragon time. I'm so screwed. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Well, I don't know what to, uh, what to do now. Oh, well, Zane, it was a fun duel, I guess. gonna do piercing damage, so it almost is just a waste to summon her, except it gets another monster in my graveyard, so eventually I can use Miracle Fusion here, I guess. Yay! 3200 damage! This is... Oh, Cyber Repair Plant. Good, good, just great. Just great. Clay man. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. I misclicked. Well, that's gonna cost me. I'm gonna lose because he's gonna summon Cyber Dragon, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, so, yay, take the L. Mmm, these duels are getting harder as we go. That stupid Cyber End Dragon, dude. I feel like I won again. I get to go second again, yay! I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get rid of that Cyber Dragon once it's out. I need Skyscraper to start with, and then I need a monster with over 3,000 3, attack. Well, I wonder what card that is. These cards... 
Oh, uh, well, this is good. This is a decent start, I guess. Um. Oh, it is a ward. Okay, well, maybe this card isn't as... Maybe Battle Guard Rage is not as bad as I thought it was. I forgot that all these monsters are warriors. All elemental heroes are warriors. Yeah, get that crap out of here. Okay, that's my turn. I can destroy a, I can destroy Cyber and Dragon now. I can destroy a Cyber and Dragon. That can happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The OP is real. I need to draw some monsters so I can tag directly. No, I don't want to activate that one on him. I want to give someone else that ability. And yeah, add your stupid cyber dragon to your hand. Oh, yep, yep. Special summon that cyber dragon. Dang it, dude. Final fusion. During either player's battle step, when a fusion for the monster you control paddles an opponent's fusion monster, target both those fusion monsters, negate the attack, and they and if you do, each player takes the damage equal to the combined attack of both those fusion monsters. No, I don't want to activate that stop. There we go. Okay, I gotta hold B so it doesn't pop up anymore. At least during his turn. Yeah, special summon your Cypher Dragon again. Oh, I need a monster that I can summon, please. Okay, Pot of Greed works. Okay, Ristinatrix will work. No, oh my gosh, I almost activated Defusion. No. Dang it, Defusion is gonna be annoying now. No, stop. Okay, now I need a whole B. Okay, I'm holding B, don't pop up again. Thank you. Alright, Zane. Yeah, keep special summon your stupid Cyber Dragon. He's gonna have to power bond if he wants to win. He's gonna have to power bond. If he power bonds, he'll win. Okay, I'm just gonna summon Spark Man. Alright, I'm gonna have Spark Man. There we go, good. Okay, yay! Attack with, directly with Flame Wingman. 4100 damage, let's go. Return soul. Special summon that Cyber Dragon. Ooh. Well, Zane, I think that's GG. Well, Zane, do you have anything to block this attack? Nope. GG. Let's go. Wow, Zane, you really are great. I'm gonna miss ya. And I you, Jaden. That's why I'm passing you the torch. Once I leave here, you'll be the top student at this school. Despite your grades or your rank, you'll be the best, so make me proud. Alright, a new breed of hero campaign duel unlocked. The graduation match reverse duel. Zane Truesdale deck avatar. Deck recipe, Cyber Dragon Unite, Cyber End Dragon, Different Dimension Capsule, Return Soul, and some victory duel points. Okay, a new breed of hero time. Destiny Heroes. 
Uh, as soon as the summer was over, it was the start of Jaden's second year at Dual Academy with one big change. Chancellor Shepard was called away for unknown reasons, so Dr. Crowler served as the acting chancellor. As for Phoenix, not only is, the super, is this superstar the top-ranked duelist in the entire world, he's joined the freshman class of our very school. With a celebrity under my tu tutelage, I'll be famous. After all, everyone on Earth knows Aster Phoenix. Dr. Crowler didn't realize that Aster already arrived on the island much earlier, so Crowler was left waiting at the docks. This doesn't make any sense. He's a no-show? After Aster co covertly took care of some business on the island, he returned to the big city to continue dueling professionally. Aster prepared for his duel with the hottest pro duelist on the circuit, Zane Truesdale. Before the duel, Aster met with his agent, Sartorius Kumar. What's up? I wish you'd spend less time on your juvenile games and more time preparing for your duels. You're on the heels of the greatest challenge of your life. Please, you know I'll win. Yes, the cards do predict victory. However, Zane is merely one step towards your true destiny. Any chance you're going to tell me what my destiny might be? No, but you shall find out in due time. And until then, you must put your complete faith in me. After your, duel, your battle with Zane, you will return to Duel Academy where you will challenge Jane and Yuki to a duel. But first things first, you, your public awaits. Yeah, I've got a big night ahead. After Aster defeated Zane, he announced his deck opponent would be Jane and Yuki. Back at Duel Academy, Jaden and Aster faced off. Alright, time to loosen your tie, roll up your sleeves, and get your game on. Please, I won't even break a sweat. You're going down, man. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's do this. Alright, this should be pretty easy. I don't know, actually. Destiny Heroes... You can get good Destiny Heroes hands or bad Destiny Hero hands. I'm hoping for a good one, obviously. Alright, what am I looking at for my first hand here? Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. D-Shield. Just defend and equip it with this card. This equi the equip monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna activate that. Cause I actually have- Oh, nope, he's gonna MST it. Dang it, dude. Um, okay, let's go with this. Set that. This could actually become a nice... I'm going to wombo combo him in the next year with this. We're going to hit rare gold armor. And then when he attacks, D shield will activate. So he won't be able to attack anything else. And he won't be able to destroy it. You can reveal the top card of your deck. And if it is a normal spell card, send it to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. During your, the, ne the main phase of your next turn, you can activate the effect of that spell card in your graveyard. Even if you no longer control this face-up card. Nope. Not a spell. Okay, that'll end my turn. Oh, Fusion Gate! Yay! Yay, Fusion Gate! Thunder Giant. There's the D-Shield combo, and there we go. Oh, okay. Dang it, dude. Burning land. Okay, someone mowing, like, right out my window. Alright, burning land. The Thunder Giant Man. I don't even know. I don't know if I can beat. I don't know if I can kill it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to destroy it. <sighs> Spark Man, really? Okay, well, this is an issue. But I guess it's not an issue until he. Until he, um. Until he's able to play another monster. Oh, and there's the other monster. Oh, you, this is awful. This is not good. Well, I'm in trouble. Okay, what 
cards does he have? Oh yeah, he has a Shining Phoenix Enforcer and Phoenix Enforcer. I'm gonna lose this because I got 4,900. I can stall another turn, but that's it. Well, this will be GG if I can't draw anything worth playing on my next turn. Or if he summons him. Okay, he didn't summon anything, so I guess that's good. I've got one turn left. See, I drew Burst Denetrix, but this doesn't help me. And even if I set it, I'm gonna lose on the next card turn because of Burning Land. So I have to just do that. Nothing I can do. Alright! Can I get a better hand than the hand that I had? I don't want Dreadmaster. It takes a while to summon that thing. I just want... I want to get Shining Phoenix Enforcer out there. Go second. Or go first, Jade. No, dang it. He heard, what, he heard my mistake. Alright, let's do this. Um, not bad. Not a horrible hand. Okay, set Diamond, Diamond Dude, and set Mirror Force. I need to draw for Stenatrix. Oh, he's playing Fusing Gate. Well, he's fusing. I don't know what he's gonna play, but he's fusing. Uh, he's playing Flame Wing Man. Well. Isn't that cute, Jaden? I'm gonna Mirror Force now. Red Servant. When this card is normal summon, place one clock counter on clock tower prison. When this card is destroyed by battle, send to graveyard. You can target one smaller trap card on the field to destroy that target. Alright, let's do this. Attack him directly. He's probably got cards in his hand to fusion summon again, but... That's a trap, so that goes to the bottom. Great. I could've used D-Shield next turn, but... Guess I'm not getting it. It's worth the risk, I guess. Um, it kind of cycles your deck a little bit as well. Oh, Wild Heart. Oh, he did it. I was like, he would be smart to attack. I was going to say, he's going to be smart to attack Diamond, dude. Oh, but unfortunately for him, I drew for Stenatrix. <laughs> That's just unlucky. Yay! Time to play Phoenix Enforcer! Oh, this card cannot be destroyed by battle? Oh, that's that's good. Okay, well, rare gold armor then will be good on him. And then I can summon Dread Servant just to, to have him on the field, I guess. I don't have Clock Tower Prison, so... Yay, 400 damage, whoopee. I think I like Flame Wingman's ability better than Phoenix Enforcers. What am I gonna draw? D signal. Special summon one level four or lower Destiny Hero Monster from your hand or deck. Oh, Playman just came up short of protecting. Oh, hero signal. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna take the damage here. There we go. Now I wanna act. Oh, I can activate. No. Oh, son of a gun, dude. I. D oh. I, I done goofed. I done goofed. I done goofed. I done goofed, dude. Dang it, man. Oh my god, I, I done goofed. I done goofed. I done goofed. Why oh, can't I can't? Um, I'm gonna get rid of rare gold. I'm gonna get rid of this. And why didn't this work? What? Dude. What did I do wrong there? I don't even know what I messed up there.
Well, good. He gets Shining Flare Wingman. Just great. Just, just freaking great. I don't know what I messed up there. Destiny Hero Dasher. Treat one other monster. This card gains a thousand attack until you end phase. This card attacks, change defense. You can reveal it, special summon it, this card. Okay. Well. I'm not sure. This thing doesn't do piercing damage, does it? No. Okay, we're at a stalemate here. Um, I'm just gonna set here. Hmm. Well, this is alright, because he can't destroy Phoenix Enforcer, so nothing is happening now, unless he can drop... If he drops Thunder Giant, it will. Something will happen. And since you're only... If you control... Okay... Doom Lord, you can target one monster opponent controls, banish that target. You cannot declare an attack the turn you activate this. You must control this and resolve the effect. I think this is what I want. I think this is how this works. Yeah, I think that I think that worked correctly, but I'm not sure. I'm a little I'm a I'm attacking. Oh I can't attack, I forgot. Dang it! What am I smoking, dude? I need to pay attention. I'm playing like an idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, just freaking great. That's just me being stupid. Block Tower Prison. Okay, this works. Okay, so we're back in control of this duel, I guess, a little bit, but he's one card away from being able to pretty much GG me. Oh, but he didn't draw it that turn. Come on. Alright, I'll take Diamond Dude. Oh, okay, so that doesn't banish them permanently. Well, guess that guess that's good to know. Guess that's good to know. <laughs> doesn't banish them permanently. What is he gonna do? What am, what am I about to get destroyed by? Is it special sum from your hand only? You do not take any ba- okay. Well, there are four or more that you can do not take any battle damage when this card with four is destroyed inside the graveyard. Special one from your hand or deck. Okay. Well, I can just stall this duel out until he can either summon a thunder- if he can th summon a thunder giant, he'll win because he can destroy my phoenix enforcer. Alright, I need to draw something here. Terraforming. Not really what I was looking for, but I'll add another Clock Tower Prison to my hand. Okay, well, I'm... Okay, I will, uh... You know what I can do? I just thought of something. But I can't destroy this thing. I can't destroy... He's got 4,600 attack. D-Shield. Alright! I still can't do anything. Well, it's got four. Well, now it's got five. No, he's fusing. This doesn't help him. He's gonna summon Wild Wingman. Or Wild Edge, but that's not gonna do anything. It can attack as much as it wants, but it's not gonna kill me. Does it do piercing damage? I don't remember. If it does piercing damage... No, he doesn't. It doesn't have piercing damage, so... So I take no battle damage when this has four counters. 
So that means I can switch it to attack mode and attack whatever he set face down. Okay, well, he's adding cards back, so he's gonna fuse again. Okay. If worse comes to worse, I do have D shield, so. Yay, I got. Oh, yay, okay, thank you. Wait, what if I don't want to summon him? And you can special summon three. Any turn this card is special summon. Destiny hero monsters you control cannot be destroyed. You take no battle damage when they attack. The attack and defense of this card equals the combined original attack of all other Destiny hero monsters you control. I think I know what I'm doing, but I'm not sure. Why is this lagging? Do I know what I'm doing? I don't even know what I'm- I don't even know if I know what I'm doing anymore. Um, let's activate his ability. Let's fusion gate. Um... I guess I'll activate another Clock Tower Prison. So, if I summon Diamond Dude... Okay, it's only light... Right? Okay, hold on, let me look what this is. Target it, change it, and equip it with this card. The equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, so... I can switch him back to attack mode. Oh no, I didn't. I shouldn't have done that, but... That's fine. Um, let me summon... Dasher. Right? Yeah, let's summon Dasher. So now he's got 38 or 3500 attack. So now I can destroy Wild Edge or Wild yeah, Wild Edge. Okay. I'm I'm a, I'm a little I'm a tad bit confused on what I'm exactly trying to come up with in my mind, but I think I get what I'm doing. Okay, D shield. No. So it's got 5200 attack. Oh my god, dude. Discard two cards and target one spell card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Rare gold armor. I think I want to, I'm adding rare gold armor. Use it on him. Activate his ability. Polymerization. I'm gonna set my other diamond dude. Okay. I think this will work. I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. D shield. Once per turn during your standby phase, you can target one Destiny or monster that was destroyed by battle since your last standby phase. Control this face up card when the target has was destroyed, special summon that target. Okay, I'm just gonna try to use this to cycle my deck a little bit here. Okay, so he's got 4,900 attack now. How much do I have to have? 52. Okay, we got this. Yeah, actually, I do want to activate his effect. No, no, I didn't want to activate his effect. Dang it! I done goofed! I done goofed! I done goofed. Well, I guess we're just gonna that for now. That, I done goofed. That's my pad. I done goofed! <sighs> Why do I have to be so stupid? Okay. 
Oh, it actually can deal damage to me? Oh, okay. Another D shield, really. Another D shield. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna put him back into defense mode. Um, do I wanna... I guess I can try to attack with Dasher to destroy his face downs. Yeah, Wing Kreeva, okay. This does work, I guess. I can just do this. I can keep destroying his monsters with Dasher. He's gonna have to fuse again. Monster Reborn. Oh, he's bringing back my dude so he can banish it. No! Uh, dang it! Oh no, he's stupid. He did it on Dasher. He's an idiot. I don't know what he's smoking. Okay, the lag is real. I don't know why this is lagging like this. Uh, I don't want to activate that. Oh, hold on. I want to activate this. Okay. I think I'm doing this alright. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. Give me my da I need Dasher back, first of all. I could draw... There's a lot of other things I could use. Foolish Burial. What you gonna do, Jaden? Give me my Dasher back. Dang it, I don't want Sparkman. Because it's only Destiny Hero Monsters, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just Destiny Heroes. Give me my Dasher back. We are literally at the biggest stalemate on the entire planet. We are literally on the biggest stalemate ever. Okay, I need a Destiny Hero. I can win if I get a Destiny Hero. I don't know why this is lagging. My Xbox isn't even hot, so it's not from that. Oh, dang it, I could've used Graceful Charity. Wait, what does it mean? You can, over your next turn, you can activate the effect of that spell. Oh, okay. I get how it works now. I need to actually manually activate it, I think. He will win if he destroys that clock tower prison. Okay, misfortune. It's like one face up on your opponent controls inflicts damage. It's not bad. Okay, activate Graceful Charity. I didn't draw anything I wanted. Reinforcements of the army. Okay, Misfortune, let me try this. Will this win it for me? I think this will win it for me. No, it's half of his original attack, okay. So I need 4,800 now. I don't have enough, I don't think I have enough Destiny Heroes left on my deck. I think I'm gonna lose because I'm gonna run out of Destiny Heroes. I'm going to run out of cards. Yep, I'm gonna ruin, I'm gonna run out of cards, so I'm gonna lose. Because this thing doesn't have enough attack points. Yep, I'm gonna lose because I don't have enough, I don't have a Destiny Hero left in my deck. I don't have anything left to do. Wow, what a way to lose it, dude. What a way to lose. I can't believe it. I don't know why this is lagging so much. Oh, I shouldn't have discarded Burning Land. Nope, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose because I don't have anything. Li oh, look, a Destiny Hero Dasher. I'm gonna have to win on that turn when that card. When I. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to win next turn. I have a shot. 
because I'm gonna draw a dash here. I've got it one shot. I'm gonna have one final shot at this. On my next turn, there's a dasher left in my deck. That does not help. One shot, here we go. Got 5,800, I've got 7,000. Come on, if it goes through, I win. Nope, Sekiretsu's armor. And there's the GG. Well, I tried. Would I have been able to win? There's Bubble Man gone. Yeah, I would have been able to win. Dang it! I was gonna, I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna do this because I'm gonna lose. Well, it was a good try. It was close. I almost, almost pulled it out there at the end. Alright, let's go again. I knew he was, I knew, I knew it that I was gonna be in trouble there at the end because he had those cards set. That Sakuretsu's armor screwed me. I almost came up with the clutch play. Almost came up with it, but came out just a little short. Sucks so much. I get to go second. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that pisses me off. I was so close to clutching that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't have a fusion card, so this doesn't really help me. I could summon if I had whatchamacallit, if I would have had I'm forgetting what the if I would have had whatchamacallit, um Fusion Gate instead of Clock Tower Prison, I would have won. Pretty much like right off the bat here. Okay, so Sparkman versus Sparkman. Yay! You know that makes sense. Okay. Hey, look, it's Fusion Gate. <laughs> Alright, it's Fusion Gate time. Okay, Phoenix Enforcer. And now it's time to summon Shining Phoenix Enforcer. I don't know what Shining Phoenix Enforcer's ability is, but hopefully it's good. Then I'm gonna activate Burning Land so that Jaden can't use my Fusion Gate. Because I think it, it applies to both players. I'll check before I destroy. Well, it gains 300 attack for each elemental here in my graveyard. I have three. Oh no, they're removed from play, so I don't actually have any. Both players can use this, right? Yeah, either player. Okay, well, time to Burning Land. <laughs> can this card not be destroyed by battle? Cannot be destroyed by battle. Alright, that works out well. Alright, Jaden, what you gonna do? I mean, bro, we can sit here all day, because now I got a life point lead on you. Alright, terraforming. Let's add Clock Tower Prison to my hand. What spell cards do I have in my graveyard? Nothing I'd want to bring back, so I'll activate Clock Tower Prison. <laughs> well, I think I've got this one, unless he, he could make some crazy plays. Like getting Shining Flare Wingman out there. That That's one way that he could turn this around pretty quickly, but... Burning Land is going to take its toll on his life points, because I took that nice little early lead. Okay, then he doesn't summon anything. I'm gonna throw a Clayman in defense mode in case this is Sekiretsu's armor, Mirror Force, or anything like that. Nope, it's a clean attack in. Okay. Probably should have attacked with Mu or Clayman, but I think it was safer to put him into defense mode. In my opinion, it was safer. Monster Reborn. Bring back Bubble Man. Hmm. Polymerization doesn't do me any good. 
Okay, I'm, since I know that's Bubble Man, I'm gonna attack this one so I can see what... So I always know if I get something over 1200 attack, I can destroy that Bubble Man. Clay Man can't do that for me, so we're just kind of stalling here for time as he's gonna lose more life points to Burning Land. D-Shield... I could just... You know what, I'm just gonna throw D-Shield out there. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna stall because I don't want to lose, if I lose Phoenix Enforcer, I'm gonna lose, probably. Even though Clock Tower Prison now, if it gets destroyed. See, all I have to do is stall five turns. If I can just stall five turns, I win. So it doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna keep ending my turn. He's gotta beat me in five turns or get rid of Burning Land on the field. If he doesn't get rid of Burning Land, then I'm gonna win. Now he's down to 1600. Oh, Graceful Charity, good. Come on, give me another. Do I have two burning lands in this deck, I wonder? Uh, let's do that. <gasps> no, no, I want Graceful Charity. I don't know what I'm searching my deck for, but I'm searching for something. Oh, rare gold armor. Don't need terraforming, and I don't need this D shield. But that that'll end that turn. Okay, Jing, you got you've got two turns left after this. Or no, you got three turns left after this one. All right, he's down to 1,100 life points. There's Fusion Gate. Here he goes. He's got to go for something. What's he dropping? He's jumping uh, Wild Edge. Go ahead, bro. You can't destroy it by battle, so. Oh, what's he dropping now? Another Wild Edge? I ain't even worried. Because <laughs> I can't be beaten. Oh, he just ended his turn. He knows it. He knows he ain't got a shot in the world. Well, I'll go ahead and fuse, I guess. I'll make my own Phoenix Enforcer and throw him in defense mode. Because why not? Put him in defense mode. And that'll do it. That'll do it for this turn. Alright, Jane, two more turns. Two more turns, and I'm gonna win by Burning Land. Foolish Burial. Necro Shade. Oh, what's he summoning? I don't know what monster is. is that Neo? Well, I don't even know what. No, it's not Neo's. T takes two. What was that? Alright, Jaden. You're gonna be with 100 life points. What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? Oh, we're back to this lagging. Oh, that's GG. That is GG. Why don't we win it on my turn with Misfortune? GG, Jaden. GG, I couldn't have drawn Misfortune earlier and just saved us time. Your dueling skills may not be half bad. However, there's something I have that you'll never have. Purpose. A reason to duel besides having fun. What else is there? The reason I duel is to bring justice to the world by punishing people who think they're above the law. Uh, come again? I'm guessing you need an explanation. My father was a duelist too. He worked as a car designer for Maximilian Pegasus. My dad put his heart into every design he created. He was my hero. Dang it, I skipped one. Uh, some punk took him away. I think it said what happened. He broke into our house and now he's gone. That's awful. Hold up. Did your dad design? That's right. My father created the Destiny Heroes. They were the last cards he ever made. My father taught me that justice was always prevail, but he was wrong. Justice is a lie. They still haven't found my dad, and whoever took him away is still out there. I duel to bring lawbreakers to justice, and in honor of my father, I use the very cards he created to punish those evildoers. And someday, I'm going to find the scum that kidnapped my father and make him pay for what he did. I'll know him as soon as I see him, because he'll, never, he'll have a rare card, the one he stole when he took my dad. It was the last card my father made. Whoever has it is going to regret the day he was born. 
Alright, Blinded by the Light, Campaign to Unlocked, a new breed of hero reverse, deck recipe, Necro Heart Hero, Fusion Gate, Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster, Wing Cream Bone, and some dual points. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode, and the next one we'll be doing Chaz, Blinded by the Light, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out!